the three times crash. All paper assets, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs crash. Real estate's going to crash. And this is going to crash, the US dollar. What's going to happen is when they keep raising interest rates, those treasuries will def they're becoming worthless. You know, let's say you have a treasury at 5% or a bond at 5% and the interest rates go to 10%. Going to collapse the system. So, like Japan, which has had quantitative easing for years and years and years and years now, is filled with U.S. Treasuries. So is China. So is the Fed. And so, what just started to happen, you know, a few months ago, 2017 again, there was a reverse repo. And a reverse repo was what happened just before 2008 in America. And a reverse repo is very simply this. <laughs> is what happens is the Fed will give money to, let's say, a tier one bank, like, let's say, Bank of America. The reverse repo is this. So if a Fed gives money to Bank of America, that's called a repo. So they're, they're backing up Bank of America. A reverse repo is Bank of America and all the tier one banks give it back to the Fed. They don't want the money. They don't want the bond. And it's not they don't want the bond. When they give the money, when the bank, let's say Bank of America, gives the money back to the Fed, that's saying we don't want to lend money anymore because it's an indictment. Andy Sheckman says this. He says it's an indictment of the U.S. economy. We're going down. Now, if that goes down, to keep raising interest rates, all those bonds will crash because, you know, who wants a 5% bond when you get a 10% bond? And the rumor is, this is according to Andy Sheckman, a long shot is this, Japan may join the BRICS, Brazil, India. And what will happen is then instead of a bailout, you know, bailouts what happened with Lehman Brothers in 2008. <clears throat> and so the, the taxpayer gave money to Lehman Brothers. What will happen is this, there'll be a bail-in, which happened in Cyprus in 2020, uh, 2008, is Bank of America, when they give all those treasuries back or the bonds back to the Fed, people will run, will run on Bank of America, and Bank of America will say, "We." Uh, so you and I go to the bank and say, we want our money back, we want our savings back. And Bank of America says, our door is shut because it's a run on the bank. But guess what? Instead of your cash or your savings, we'll give you back stock in Bank of America. That's a bail in. Now, I hope it doesn't happen, but that's what I was writing about. So as you know, I'm a, I'm a huge gold, silver nut. And I would rather have silver right now, which is the biggest bargain in world history today. It's it's the, it's the, you know, real estate was my generation's investment because it was debt. For your generation, it's silver. Because it's my, today in America, it's cost me 30 bucks to buy a silver, a silver eagle. 30 bucks. You know, this stuff is trash. This is trash here. Cash is trash. So that's a bail in, bail out. <clears throat> um, that's what happens. You have a repo and a reverse repo. So the reverse repo is the banks are giving back the money to the Fed. We don't want it. I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, this the Fed, this guy Powell just announced yesterday, he's going to raise interest rates again, again. So what that's going to do is going to, Andy Sheckman says this, this is called the three times crash. All paper assets, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs crash. Real estate's going to crash and this is going to crash the US dollar. I'm a freaking gold and silver bug, as you know, and not ETFs. I am hard assets, hard assets. This is my gold mine here. I just took it public this year, July 2022, 2022 on the New York Stock Exchange. You can go to my website and see me ringing the bell. It's the richest gold mine in America. It's in Utah next to right in Provo, Utah. I'm not Mormon, but it's right in Utah. <laughs> I own Bitcoin, but I took Bitcoin as a technical trade. You know, it went up to 20,000 a while ago and then dropped. When it dropped, I bought it. But right now, 
I don't know. Uh, just yesterday, a crypto bank crashed. I don't even know that. Silver, silver bank, Silvergate crashed. So everything is coming down. I hate to be, you know, I hate to be chicken little and bear bad news, but that's why on my tweet, I was begging people, especially your generation, you got to change your thinking. You know, get rid of those, that mantra, go to school, get a job, work hard. You know, buy stocks and bonds, save cash. Three times, Andy Sheckman, the smartest guy I know, a three times crash is coming. First of all, all paper assets, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs. Second, real estate. Third, and I've always said cash is trash. Our debt to GDP, you know, in 2008 wasn't that bad. But then after when it crashed, then Bernanke started printing, you know, they call it quantitative easing. It's printing money. And so uh, that's why in 2013, I wrote the book, Rich Dad's Prophecy, to warn people that the crash was going to get bigger. In 2013, I wrote that book, and it's going to get bigger because the debt to GDP, David, as most people know, is 130 debt to GDP. It's the biggest in world history. Our debt is through the roof and Powell is raising interest rates, which makes that debt more expensive. I mean, you don't have to, be, you don't have to go to school to know that one. What was the first act that uh, communist Joe Biden did? His first act was he cut off the Keystone XL pipeline from Canada to America. And I'm, I sell oil. I don't, oil, I don't, you know, I, I used to be an oil tanker officer for Standard Oil. I don't touch paper assets. I don't touch stocks, bonds. I don't, you know, I wouldn't buy an Exxon stock. I wouldn't buy Standard Oil stock or Chevron, whatever they call it now. I buy the physical oil. And my oil wells are in Dakota, North Dakota, Louisiana, and uh, Texas. And so I was selling oil. Biden comes to office. My friend Donald Trump, and he and I wrote, Trump and I have written two books together. He's a good friend of mine. And what happened is when Biden took office, his first act was to cut off the Keystone XL pipeline, again, running from Alberta to America. I was selling oil at down that day for $30 a barrel on the, on the spot exchange, as you know. That day went to $130 a barrel. When that happened, I knew what Biden was up to or the communists are up to. By the way, this is one of the first books I read at school. It's called The Communist Manifesto. I read this in 1965, I went to the Academy in New York. Anyway, as soon as, they ra as soon as Biden cut off the Keystone, oil went from 30 to 130 a barrel. Immediately I knew what he was doing. They're crushing the poor and middle class. So this is the irony of it, David. Guys like me get richer. So, you know, you sell oil from $30, all of a sudden get 130 I almost voted for Biden after that one. <laughs> I said, thank you, Joe. But then I realized what he's doing. He's going to crush the poor and middle class. And that sets us up for revolution, David. 71, Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. 74, Kissinger put the dollar back by oil. So all of these guys hold dollars because uh, oil back dollar was valuable. So now it's no longer gold, no longer is oil. What, what is a dollar? This is trash. And you read Rich Dad Poor Dad, it says cash is trash, savers are losers. I could see all this coming. So what's gonna, what's happened this year, David? This year, as we talk, those dollars are trash. And people are saying, oh, go to school, save money. You gotta be nuts. You gotta be really ignorant not to, not to do. I just say buy a silver eagle, US eagle or Canadians. Canadians have great silver coins. Buy silver, because it's only about 30 bucks an ounce right now. I'm still a real estate guy, but I'm not, I've never been, a, I've never been a flipper. You know, guys were buying a house for 10,000 and selling it for 20,000. I don't do that stuff. I buy income producing real estate. Like if you owned farmland and it's producing, let's say alfalfa, that's an asset. I own cattle. I own, I own a uh, Wagyu cattle because what I sell is the Wagyu bulls semen. That balloon happened in, um, <clears throat> as most people know, in 2008, when Bernanke, who was awarded the Nobel Prize, can you imagine that? 
printed trillions of dollars to blow the economy into a bubble. And it was the everything bubble, you know, stocks and bonds went up, real estate went up, and he kept dropping interest rates so the, so the dollar became more valuable. But what, what happened this year, David, is that balloon's coming down. It's called what Andy Shepman calls the three times crash. Stocks, bonds, and mutual funds crash, real estate crashes, and cash is trash. It's going to start flowing, the US dollar, I mean, is going to start flowing back to the US because treasuries are going down. If you bought a house for 100000 and then it went up to 200000 and you took a home equity loan to pay off your credit card debt, you're an idiot. You know what I mean? But that's all people are doing. They're refinancing their home equity loans. They're taking, sh they're taking short term debt, which is cash uh, credit cards, and turning it into long term debt called a home equity loan. That's really financial ignorance. And that's why, you know, David, all the years you've interviewed me, I've always said, why don't they teach money at school? As interest rates kept going down, we kept borrowing out the lot, the equity, which was so now we're, we could be in trouble also, but the but the the good thing is our our uh, income far exceeds our liability, so we can still afford to refinance, get new loans. But if, as Andy Sheckman says, that the repo markets went to reverse repo, in other words, they won't give out loans anymore. There'll be runs on the bank. There'll be bail-ins, not bail-outs, and the whole economy crashes. If and only if they don't, uh, if the bonds that everybody, all the banks are holding, go upside down. And so that's what happens when Powell raised interest rates. Those bonds are holding got toasted. That's my concern, David. It's just basic finance. You know, if a, you have a bond at 5%, but suddenly bonds are now 10%, your 5% bonds are not worth anything. Real estate is nothing to do with housing, it has to do with jobs. So the one thing good about Arizona, the reason I got out of uh, California and Oregon, I moved to Arizona because, you know, TSC, Taiwan Semiconductors moved here. So years ago, Arizona was called Silicon Desert. So they, they were moving, so Taiwan semiconductors, the uh, conductor, semiconductor market moved to Arizona. They have, a, they have like campuses out here. They're like Google out here. So as long as there's jobs, real estate be okay. If, you're, if you're, your apartment house, which most of my apartment houses are, are next to oil wells like in Houston and Dallas and Oklahoma, real estate's okay because as long as there's jobs, Real estate's okay. But if let's say, you know, let's say Google left, oh, I mean, I think what didn't, uh, who was that left? See, that's what I watch. Where, where are the jobs moving to? That's real estate.